everybody. All right, so today I am filming. It's actually um, Saturday. What is the date today? I think it's the 24th. There you go. So it's Saturday, August 24th. Um, I typically don't film this late in the week, but some, some things have happened. <laughs> um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the haul. So I went this time on dollar day at store number one, and I only picked up four things. I hope that the fourth thing is in here. Okay. First thing that I got, <laughs> which is kind of funny, I got a pillow, but it is a Taylor Swift pillow. Um, this is the 1989 um, era or 1989 album. Actually, it would be, I guess you could say my favorite album from Taylor Swift, but I got it because I'm going to give it to one of my nieces. Um, it was not in a bag, so I'm going to wash this. Um, I did see another lady pick up like two of these and I was hoping to find another one so that I could give it to my other niece, who's a big Swifty as well, but she had gotten the other two. So at least I was able to pick up one of them. So I got that. And then, um, I found this, which was kind of funny because it was only a dollar. And if you are into crafting, you'll know what this is. This is a Tim Holtz distress ink pad tin, you know, storage. And, um, you can buy these, like I've bought mine up from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. Are they five 99, six or seven 99? I don't know, but I was able to get it for a dollar. And I mean, it's intact. It's a little, it's got some dents, but this is like a thin aluminum. And then you store the ink pads in here and I've already got two of them and I haven't even filled up the second, um, storage compartment. So I don't know if I'm going to actually still use it for the ink pads or just take this out and then use it to store other stuff. But I mean, I, I don't know. I kind of do want to get, um, more inks. So I may go ahead and keep it. Um, cause yeah, I don't have, I don't really have a lot in the big ink pads. I have like almost all of the small ones, but, um, yeah, so it was kind of good to just get that for $1. Um, and then I also found this. Now I got this for a dollar. Okay. They, were, they had several of these. So I didn't pick it up for the stickers. I actually picked this up for the glassine envelopes because there's like a hundred, I think. Yes. It says it's a hundred. It's supposed to be for wedding invitations or something like that. Yeah. Lucky in love. But you know, these envelopes can sometimes be kind of pricey. And I like the fact that they're small because then I can stick this like inside of an insert, um, you know, for like a traveler's notebook and then put like, um, a, you know, like tickets, receipts, whatever ephemera in it. And I mean, this is like these envelopes, the glassine is like, it's a little bit thicker. It's not as um, transparent, so it will hold up pretty good. So yeah, I figured, you know, for a dollar, that's not a bad deal. I mean, like I said, I don't need the stickers. I'll probably just toss those. Actually, let me just take it out. But are they all the same? Yeah, because I don't know anybody that's going to really need those anyways. So that was actually a pretty good deal. If they had come in other colors, I probably would have gone ahead and, you know, picked up more of them. But that's okay. I mean, the whites are just fine. And then the last thing that I got, let me make sure that this is not, there we go. It was kind of a surprise. This is my second time finding one of these at the bin store. Okay. So let me pull it out. I'd already opened it because I wanted to look at it. It is an actual, it's a Midori notebook, you know, and it's an A5 and it's got the graph, which is perfect. I have already bought one of these from a different bin store, from store number two. So I was kind of surprised to find yet another one. I mean, you know, you can find this kind of stuff. If you're into journaling, you'll know what a Midori notebook is. You can find this kind of stuff at the bin stores. I've shown before that I've found Hobonichi's, the covers and the actual um, journals there. I've found two A5 journals, one from 2022 and then one from 2023, I think or is it 2021 and 2022? And um, they're the Techos, you know, the A5 cousins. So um, 
it's possible to find them. And now that they're going to be releasing the um, 2025, um, you know, covers and the um, journals, I'm pretty sure I'll probably end up finding them at the bin store, probably like around December or January, February, because people will be ordering them and then probably returning. So I'm going to keep my eye out, you know, for them, especially like the covers. I mean, I don't mind picking up the older, um, the older ones because as far as like the journals, because I could always use them. And the fact that I was able to find two that had the old Tomei, um, Tomei River paper is even better. But this is also made with that type of paper. So it's super smooth. And I've heard that this is fountain pen, you know, friendly. So I always like keeping these, you know, on hand in case I need um, a journal and I don't want to have to spend however much this goes for on Amazon. I don't know, 15 or something. But I'm going to go ahead and link all of these things that I found um, on Amazon. So if you're interested, you know, you can find it. So because I only picked up four things, I'm going to go ahead and show some of the items that I've picked up in the past. Um, just to kind of give you a little bit more content here. So last week I had shown all of the DIY um, miniature kits that I have. And then when I was going, I was putting the back, I found one that I didn't notice. So this one is a do it yourself house. So I believe the one here that I got is this one. Let me make sure. Yeah, it is. So this is the inside of the kit, the one that I got. Kitten Diary is what it's called. And um, so, you know, the instruction shows everything that's included. And this one lights up. So this right here, I believe, is the one that lights up. And yeah, so it shows everything that you get. Okay. And then how to assemble the whole thing, right? And let's see. Well, it says it has everything. I would hope so. I don't think so now that I look at this. And I think I probably picked this up for like maybe a dollar or something like that because I've had this for a while. Um, you know, now that I look at it, it doesn't look like everything. Yeah, I think some of it is missing. I think like the cupboard is missing and the couch, but I, I don't know. Look at that. So that's okay. I mean, I, like, I didn't really spend a lot on this. And if, you know, if it's not everything then I can always like use, I think some other kits if I eventually come across it, but this is by the brand cute room. And I, you know, I, I just thought it was really, really cute. And then let's see. So I do have this. I remember picking this up at the older, at uh, the other, um, bin store that closed number three and this is a um, vlog microphone for your camera and I do have a Rode mic that came with my Canon M50 it is really good but it's just it's really big it's supposed to be like the smaller one you know for the cameras but this one is even um, tinier I have not tested it yet as far as the quality but I like that it did come with the uh, I forgot what you call this with this and you can see how small it is, you know. So, um, yeah, it pretty much came all intact. And I probably paid $4, I think, for this. Because I do remember picking this up on the weekend when I did buy it. So, I have that to show you guys. And, I mean, I have a lot of stuff I never filmed that I bought that I just never filmed. So, I'm just slowly kind of, like, bringing it out. Now I can't close the box, but that's okay. Um, I also found this JBL speaker, the go-to. Now I always see these over at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and they're like something like, I don't know, $20 or less. And I was able to get this for like six bucks and it's really, really, really good sound. I like that it's so small, you know, and um, okay, it's connected. But yeah, the quality is really good. I'm really pleased with it. I mean, you can hear it. I don't want to get um, demonetized or anything. So I'm only going to play a little bit. Yeah, so there we go. But um, I'm really happy that I was able to get this. I've found other speakers. Um, there's this one that I have that's kind of similar to like a JBL, but like the, you know, the cylinder style that um, 
it's a, actually it doesn't sound too bad and it's a little bit bigger and then there was a smaller one that I, ha I had found that was like a um that was like a circle shape type and I used to use that one at work and then when I left I went ahead and just gave it to my coworker because I was like we were using it you know so that we had some background music playing um just to kind of think you know keep things lively in um in the office so I went ahead and just let her have it and uh, but she's no longer there she kept it which is fine so you know but I know I'm, I'm I'll be able to find more speakers it's just I don't think I'd be able to find another be lucky enough to find another JBL so yeah those are just a couple oh one more thing that I, I'm going to show and I've probably featured it in the past I can't remember but something that I do come across and I probably will in the coming months because summer is somewhat coming towards the end are these like fans these portable fans um you know last year like I would find tons of them here's another one and then I think where's that other one yeah and I've shown this one before this one right here you know these I live in the south so it is very very hot and humid here so having something like this is always good in your purse um I, I don't know if it has to do with menopause or maybe because I'm diabetic now, but I tend to not get as hot anymore as I used to. And I used to always carry like a hand fan and was constantly fanning myself, whether it was winter or summer. And um, yeah, I mean, I would always be hot. And so I would carry something like that. And I wish I had had something like this back then. Now it's like, you know, 104 degrees with humidity it doesn't even really affect me as much anymore i don't know it just i just don't feel as hot so it's kind of sad because i have all these fans but um it's still handy i bring them so that i can give you know let my my relatives my family use them and this is the one in particular that i like to bring just in case um, i did bring this when i went to elvis week because it was freaking hot and um i was outside a little bit more often so there you go this one i like because it has more speeds than um, some of the other ones. And it can be used as a power bank, you know, as well. And I just like that it folds up like that versus something like this, you know. So that's, it only has two speeds. And then this one, at least it comes with a lanyard. You can hang it around your neck, you know. I think this one has three speeds. And then this one is another lightweight one. It's got three speeds as well. You know, I've given, I gave one to my niece because she's in band at high school and they've been practicing most, you know, half the summer outside. And I knew that she was going to need one because it's just so hot. So she's been using it. She's really happy with it. So yeah, you know, um, these always come in handy, but I'm probably not going to buy anymore. If I find more like these, I probably will. And then I will give them to my, um, my family because it's just, you know, they can stick it in their purse and stuff. This one in particular, you can um, put water in it. So it'll spray water as well. It comes out here. And I think, oh gosh, I'm trying to remember how to fill it. I have, oh, here it is right here. You just put it in here. So this will help you cool down even faster. But I didn't really care to use the water feature because it's already humid. Maybe in some place like, you know, Nevada or Arizona, that would help because it's so dry there. But yeah, so, you know, these are just some of the things that I've found. Um, I am probably not going to have a video up next week because it's going to be Labor Day weekend and I'm actually going to be busy over the weekend. I might not have time to, um, to edit. Plus, I don't think I'll be going to the, um, to the bin stores. Actually, not. I won't be going for Dollar Day anymore <laughs> because I am working now. And so I won't be able to go in the mornings, yeah, during the week because I'll be at work. The only time that I will be able to go to the bin stores are either after work or on the weekend. So um, I probably would go to $2 Day, which would be a Monday, but that would mean me giving up going to the gym on that day. So I don't know. I'm still thinking about it because if I do go to the bin store, it'll probably be like on a Saturday and Sunday, which would be like $6 day, $4 day kind of thing, which is fine because I'll have more options to choose from 
because there's going to be more stuff. But yeah, I won't be film. I won't be shopping next weekend. Um, it'll probably be the following weekend that I'll have a video up. Okay, so I'll probably have something that else that goes up that I'll film this weekend. So at least I have some content that goes up, but it won't be a haul. Okay, so just giving you a heads up. All right, people. And I also want to say thank you to all of you for subscribing and to my new subscribers, helping me get over 500, you know, now um, as far as subscriptions. Um, yeah, my goal, you know, at least before the end of the year is to, you know, reach a thousand. And um, I mean, I'm already like one step away from like reaching monetization. I just have to meet that last goal, which is trying to get the hours. I think you have to have 3000 hours, watch hours or 4000. I can't, I'm not exactly sure. I'm only at like, I think 200 or something, which kind of sucks because I do have some, um, I have some videos that have had like, you know, I don't know, something like 11,000, 12,000 hits and they were a little bit longer, but, um, yeah, that's just the next goal is to reach a thousand. I'm not going to try to like set some lofty goal, like 10,000 before the end of the year. No, because it takes a lot of work. And now that I'm back to working, I won't have that time to be able to film like that. If I, you know, to make that, that push, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you, you know, so I hope that you're enjoying my series here of Amazon return hauls and stuff and liking the videos, commenting, you know, um, yeah. I really appreciate it guys. All right. So I will see you on the next video. Have a great week and have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.